It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Courts awards 1 billion naira to can others federal governments to tender apology. The news in full. The High Court of Abia yesterday in Abia State yesterday ordered the federal government to pay 1 billion naira compensation to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Mazen Amdekanu, for the violation of his fundamental rights, including the invasion of his country home in Afarauku, Umaya North, local government area of the state in September 2017 by the military. The trial judge, Ben Sinaya, additionally ordered the government to render apology to Kanu for the trauma he went through. Kanu and the suit had sought $5 billion compensation and apology from the government and urged the court to declare that the invasion of his home in September 2017 by the Nigerian military was illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of his fundamental rights to life. Dignity of his person, his personal liberty and fair hearing as guaranteed under the Nigerian constitution for human rights, uh, for human and uh, people's rights. The application also prayed to the court to declare that his arrest in Kenya by agents of the Nigerian government without due process of law was arbitrary, illegal, unlawful, or constitutional amounts to infringement of his fundamental rights against arbitrary arrest to his personal liberty and to fair hearing as, guarantee, as guaranteed under the Nigerian Constitution and African Charter on Human and People's Rights. The application further said that his expulsion from Kenya to Nigeria by the Nigerian government and his consequent detention and prosecution in the suit marked FHC ABJ CR 383-2015 Federal Republic of Nigeria v. Namdekanu is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of his fundamental rights. But defendants raised preliminary objections to the jurisdiction of the state high court to entertain matters pertaining to the federal government. Counsels for the respondent, namely Simon Enoch, for the Attorney General of the Federation, Omo Osagi for the police, Amos Story for the army, and Mrs. C. Odukwe for the DSS argued that the court lacked jurisdiction to hear the matter. Tori specifically faulted Kano for demanding 5 billion naira compensation from the Chief of Army staff instead of the Army Council, but the court held that it has jurisdiction to hear the matter. While delivering judgment yesterday in the court, the judge condemned the invasion of Kano's family house by the military and described this as notorious and brazen. Justice Aya, however, struck out Kano's prayer to declare his repatriation from Kenya and their continued detention by DSS as illegal. The judge instead suggested to the authorities to explore political alternative in resolving the issues of his extradition, detention, and trial. Reacting to the judgment, the Nigerian army says it is studied the decision to know the next line of action and counsel to the army, Tori, reportedly said that the military would respond appropriately to the court judgment that entitled it for violating the fundamental human rights of Kanu after studying the judgment. At the same time, the High Public Leader in Abuja yesterday asked the Federal High Court Abuja to discharge and acquit him of the 15 count criminal charges which the federal government preferred against him. Kanu had rejected the charges during his arraignment in court yesterday, arguing that they were defective and have no force of law. Besides the alleged effectiveness of the charges, he said that the offences brought against him were committed in the United Kingdom outside the shores of Nigeria and pleaded not guilty to the charges. Shortly after taking his plea, counsel to the federal government, Shwaib Magajila Baron, told the trial judge, Beta Iyanko, that he was ready to try the defendant. He informed the court that two of his witnesses were present to testify in the case and that some exhibits were brought to court to establish terrorism charges against Kanu. Labaron cited Section 396 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, ACJA 2015, which stipulated that trial should begin after arraignment, a while objection on any issue could be taken at any time, along with the substantive matters. But Kanu's lead counsel, Michael Zekumisan, objected to the commencement of the trial, adding that his client had filed two motions on notice on the validity of charges and a bill application. Zekome said that the two motions were fundamental because one of them challenged the competence of the charges and should first be resolved, adding that Kanu desired to be discharged and acquitted without standing trial because the charges were defective. He argued that the second motion 
which sought fresh bill for Kanu was filed on Tuesday, January 18, 2022, served on the prosecution on Wednesday, January 19, and therefore not ripe for hearing. In a ruling, Justice Inyako agreed with Jose Kome to first determine the motion challenging the validity of charges and fixed February 16, 2022 for the parties to return to court and adopt their processes for and against the motion at 12 noon. However, Kanu was returned to the Department of State Services DSS detention facility until his request for bail is resolved. He was provided with orthopedic mattress, pillows, and blankets, among others, in compliance with the court's order. Meanwhile, Kanu's special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, in the reaction to the judgment of Abia High Court, said that the president should obey the court's decision on exploring political solution and prove that he indeed regards the judiciary as said in an interview on January 5th, 2022. He said, I am pleased with the judgment, especially as it diminished the vested notion that an Abdekano John Bill in 2017. He directed by the judge to the federal government to pursue path of political solution with Kanu is also in good order. Going forward, I see the judgment having significant impacts on Abuja case. I have no doubt that the federal government will implement the judgment. My confidence comes with the uh, recent pronouncement from the president that he will respect whatever the judiciary decides in the matter of Inam Dekan. And now that the court had actually you know, advised, you know, after awarding one billionaire against the Nigerian army and for Inam Dekan, you know, for uh, illegal, unlawful, and unconstitutional infringement of his fundamental rights, you know, uh, to life, dignity, and of his person, and also his personal liberty and fair hearing as guaranteed under the Nigerian Constitution and African Charter of Human and People's Rights, you know, uh, only the lawyer of Mazin Abdekanu had actually filed again that the court in Abbey uh, stage should actually uh, you know, uh, strike uh, uh, should should actually condemn you know the expulsion from uh, of uh, of Martin Abdekan from Kenya back to Nigeria by the Nigerian government and, and his consequent you know detention and prosecution in a, in a suit you know marked FHCABJCR three three twenty fifteen saying that the court should actually you know uh, it, it should it should, act, it should, it should actually uh, you know agree that. It was illegal, unlawful, and constitutional infringement of his fundamental right to be expatriated from Kenya back to Nigeria. But then uh, the court actually, you know, apart from uh, awarding one billion naira, you know, uh, which was supposed to be five billion naira as filed by the uh, by the council to Mazin and the Khan, you know, the judge, the judge, uh, judge, which is Justice Aya, however, struck out the prayers, you know, to declare that the repatriation from Kenya. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, and uh, uh, you know, and the uh, you know the way they, they treated Mazin Amdekanu outside the country was illegal. Since that instead of doing that, that uh, is, the judge suggested that they should you know uh, find a way to explore alternative uh, political uh, solution in resolving the issues of his extradition, detention, and trial. And we know that. Uh, for the fact that the president also said at the point in time that he respects the judiciary and that political solution may be possible as well to you know the the lead counsel, the special counsel to Mazin Abdekanu, which is Aloy Jibako, actually said that yes, that he would advise President Mohamed Buhari to also remember his promise to respect the judiciary 